Oh, shit. What did you do? You busted I, it. I broke this light bulb to start the show. All right. Well, that's a hell of a welcome to uh, Hallmark Hot Takes, episode 16 of season three with Heidi and Jason, where we watch, read, and review all of the Countdown to Christmas movies from the Hallmark Channel. And how do we rate these? Jason? By breaking light bulbs. Breaking light bulbs. Uh, it's a candy cane rating system. Uh, where we each have the opportunity to award a movie half a candy cane all the way up to five candy canes. Combine them together out of a score out of a possible ten candy canes. Yes, for those of you slow at the math. Five plus five or half plus half. Uh, or anything in between. And, and, I mean, and sometimes it's, you just don't know. Betweens. So tonight's offering is uh, My Southern Family Christmas Tree. Starring J.C. Elliott and Ryan Rotman. Is it Family Christmas Tree? Oh, no. Excuse me. Just... My Southern Family Christmas. I don't know where I've been. Yeah. I don't even have tree written down. I just okay. said it. I, I was My like, I Southern something? Family Christmas. Because there wasn't a big thing about a tree. so No. So that would have it's, been... Yes. So I'm just going to hot take this real quick. Let's so go. Uh, meet Campbell, who is a uh, writer slash reporter for an in-flight magazine and is tasked with coming up with a new feature article. And while she's trying to write her pitch, she goes to research her estranged father, uh, who she has not had contact with since she was a baby. He left her mom uh, back in the day. And uh, she decides that she's going to uh, meet her father and use writing this feature story because he, he has been named the Père Noel of his town in Sorrento, Louisiana. And that means it's kind of like the Cajun version of Santa Claus, we're told. Yes. Um, so she decides she's going to pitch this article to her boss and her boss likes it. So she goes to Sorrento to write this article under the guise of being a reporter. She does not tell um, her dad, Everett, that she is his daughter. She's brought there by Everett's wife, Jennifer, who does know who she is and has asked her to come. Um, she has the blessing of her parents to, to do this. And uh, so she goes and she meets her father, Everett, and he has two daughters. Uh, what were their names? Anne Margaret and something else. And so she finds all about how he became Père Noël and she starts to ask him a lot of questions, you know, about him. And he's very welcoming to her. He has no idea who she is. Um, and he's very welcoming to her and, you know, takes her on all of this, he, the, their family businesses, they make meat pies and he, you know, teaches her how to do all that. And she really interacts with her sisters and she meets uh, Jackson, who is like, what, the town archivist? Yeah. And because he's like a the town dork, like he figures out who she is pretty quick. Um, so... This all comes to a head when she tries to ask some personal questions of uh, Everett of back, you know, when she was born and he kind of shuts down and she overhears a conversation about how, you know, he's never forgotten about her and blah, blah, blah. She decides she's going to tell him at the Père Noël event where he becomes the Père Noël and uh, she chickens out but then thinks better of it and goes to their house for Christmas morning and gives him a picture of her and him when she was a baby that she had. He obviously puts two and two together and is overjoyed and gives her a book, a bunch of letters that he wrote that he got, got sent back to him and a list of journals where he wrote to her and they are overjoyed and they have a big family moment with her and Jackson or Jennifer, I, the whole family and Jackson, Everybody. they take a big yeah. picture. And that is my Southern family Christmas, pretty much, right? That was great. I mean, I left a lot out, but you get the gist. Oh, good. Good recap. All right. Okay. Let's hot take this. All right. All right. Now let's move on to the ratings portion of the show. What are we doing first? Uh, dislikes. 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 Um, you, oh, my goodness. You've got a lot of dislikes <laughs> on that list. This is fun. When she's like asking questions, she's as a reporter, she never takes any notes. Like, how does she remember everything? She's, she's got a good anything. memory. She just she's doesn't got a good memory. Notes. It's like a waitress who doesn't, or a waiter doesn't take your order. Like, they can do it without it. With, that's a lot of details, though. You're she's, writing a feature this article. This is her job. I don't know. Um, she does start taking notes later, though, in the movie. Um, so she gets, she's 
Jackson is the one who kind of is trying to show her around a little bit too because he's the town archivist. So yes. they talk to him because he knows everybody. And she steals his yeah, research. I have that. So she finds a file that's kind of about her and how can't or ever had a daughter. And then she takes it and he knows she takes it because, I mean, he right. can tell his research is missing. Right. It's like a whole like decade or so is missing. Like um, stolen files and lies I have. I, I, I felt that at one point... It got really kind of cruel that they weren't telling him who she yeah, was I because agree. he was clearly very emotional about it. Yeah, and he deserved to know. And I, yeah, it got I, mean. It got mean. Um, I thought the romance. I really liked Jackson, but I thought the romance was a bit forced. I mean, you didn't really even need it in this movie, and no. it was just. You're it, right. That is a really good call out. I don't think you need the romance. You really don't need the romance in the movie. And I think they tried to shoehorn it in. Like, Jackson right. was in love in like two and a half days. Like, yeah. Slow your roll, bro. Um, oh. She. Campbell. Well, I thought she played her character fine. She doesn't. She didn't have a whole lot of personality. Like, she had no. a real flat affect. Mad, sad, or happy. She acted exactly the same. Yeah. And it was hard. I mean, she was likable, but it was hard to really, really like her because she just didn't, she didn't, she didn't pop. She didn't pop Not for no me. Poppage. And I felt that. So when she went to go tell him at the end of the movie that she was his daughter, they didn't really have a good way to make drama. So they kind of just forced this weird situation where she gets interrupted by other reporters who are doing a story on Père Noël and they want a family photo and she's not in it because they don't know she's family yet. Right. And then she's like, well, this is stupid. I'm leaving and I never should have come right. here and blah, blah. And I thought that was really forced. They didn't know that. I didn't really right. care for that. No. So those were my dislikes. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I had, a, had the stolen files. Didn't like that. It was very difficult. Like I felt bad for the dad. Like yeah. it just felt like it was a mean trick and then like all the sister stuff like they had like this he loved his family so much and it's just i don't know it made me uncomfortable it was a lot of unnecessary like feeling bad about yourself because she had to feel bad about herself when he's gushing about how much he loves his girls right. but like he left her and he had reasons they explained right. that he was in a bad place and you know yeah. whatever and he's obviously never forgot about her but it was just yeah I, right some of I it didn't was like a that. I was confused early on if she was adopted or if it was his, like that was his, her mom, her real right. mom. Right. So it's her real mom and then her stepdad. Yes, but I didn't like. I didn't get that. Like yeah. it took a while to for that to be uncovered. Like probably halfway through the movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was my dislikes. Um, What'd you like about this? I scene? love that Wes Brown was in this movie. <laughs> He was. He did a cameo as her boss. I like that. Is he? Was he in any other movies this summer, this winter? Or no? He's his Lacey's coming up. Oh, okay. he's in Lacey's. So movie. okay, I just want to make sure he didn't just. That's it. No, he got. He's got top billing with Lacey. He's that's with the good. Queen now. Okay. Um, I like that we learned about Père Noël. I heard of it before. Thought it was great. I want to learn more. He doesn't. This Santa doesn't even wear a red suit. It's like no. flannel shirts and trousers. And he drives a skiff across the bayou and lights it. <laughs> and he's got alligators. Like, it's yeah, alligators. Gators. Like, it's amazing. So I, I thought that was I loved cool. it. I okay. learned something, and I love the Paranoel. Yeah, I'm digging it. Um, the baking scene where they teach uh, <clears throat> Campbell how to make the meat pies. I yeah. thought that was very cute. Yes. Um Ever drinks moonshine, I'm pretty sure. It's a, bl it's a blackberry, like, Named Pan Noel. Moonshine. And, yeah, in a mason jar. It's definitely it's moonshine. Fantastic. Um, I like Jackson. Again, I don't think the romance was necessary. I mean, his character didn't have to be in the movie, and it wouldn't have made any difference. Yeah, he was fine. But he was, he was cool. I liked yeah. him. Yeah, well. I loved the Christmas breakfast. They had a big Christmas <laughs> breakfast at the end of this movie, and I wanted to be there. Okay. I love breakfast. And uh, I like the Père Noël Lives Here sign. Yeah, Père Noël Lives There. Um, I liked it was in Louisiana. Offshoot of Dallas, I believe, is where she was originally. Yeah, she's so out of Dallas. There's no New York. No tree, no snow. No it was snow, very, no you know, manufactured snow. No. Like, oh, it's No snowball snow. fights. No, no. They didn't even decorate a Christmas tree in this movie. No. Yeah. So hence not 
my Southern family Christmas tree. <laughs> yes, it was not a Southern So I loved it. I love Louisiana. There was beignets. They ate beignets. Uh, the Christmas market. I love a good Christmas market. Fantastic. I love it. show a lot of the Christmas market. Well, it was awesome, okay? I got Paranoel was awesome. Paranoel was awesome. Uh, we already talked about that. I don't, again, I'm just going through my notes. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa. It was Blackberry uh, Moonshine. Also, uh, the, her mom and her and her stepdad, they do, uh, every year they do different Santa, theme Santas, and they had like Beach Santa was one of the themes. It was yes. fantastic. I love that. And I also like Jennifer Everett's wife, Moira yeah. Kelly. She was good, but like, again, I felt. No, the daughters were good. Daughters the were sisters good. Yeah, were good. good. Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell. He was amazing. He was got a lot of billing in this movie. You didn't, he, yeah. He he should have been the first though in this. I think that would have brought more of an audience. Yeah. Bruce Campbell. Would he? Yes. Okay. So what are you giving it? What's your rating? I think we've gone through the list. I love Bruce Campbell. So that's at least. A few candy canes there. Oh, okay. We're starting at a few here. I, again, there wasn't anything I just didn't like. So I'm going to go. And I thought this was going to be a rough one. I'll be honest with you folks. <laughs> I came into this one. But this is why you don't judge a book by the cover. That is true. You That's read you a few pages, then judge it. Yes. So I. Mean, I you definitely judge it. Just don't prejudge it. Absolutely judge yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it. A four. Wow. I, I liked it. I liked it. It that was different. Interesting. It okay. wasn't the formula. No, it didn't follow the formula. You know, it reminded me a lot of the one from last year, the one with the one with Amy T. Garden that we yeah. liked. Um, so I liked that it was about family, and I liked that it was more about the father-daughter relationship, again, than the romance. Yes. Um, so I really liked that aspect of it, but again... I, she just had such flat affect and I mm. couldn't she didn't draw me into her like I didn't there was just I just wish she would have done a little bit better of a job with the range of her personality um so because of that I am only prepared to offer this two and a half candy. oh my gosh wow that's the Listen. biggest high me high you low that's got to be in the record and again, I liked it. It's a six it. It was and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half movie. Yeah. You are the Scrooge today. I am the Scrooge today. I don't know. Like, it was okay. I, I, I thought... Didn't, I didn't... Okay, again, I, I was prepared to offer this... Like, when I first saw it, oh. I'm like, this is a half candy can for sure. Yeah. I don't know what it was about it. it the preview just looked really stupid. Yeah, I, so again, it's good. this is better than I expected. I want a meat pie. I want a beignet. And I want to meet the Père Noël. Yeah, I did like the paranormal. Right. I like was, learning things. Yeah. It was only All right. Like two and a half. So again, yeah, middle of the road movie, but it was you know it didn't it didn't knock my socks off. Well. That's people are different, Jay. We can have different tastes. I, yeah, I, did. I just thought, I thought I knew you. <laughs> you didn't you? think that she was just really a flat <laughs> character? Yeah, I. I, again, I, I was, wasn't the problem. The reason it got a two and a half is I was emotionally invested in Bruce Campbell. I was not yes. emotionally invested. Obviously. In. Campbell. Bruce Campbell, not right. Campbell. Campbell the character. Bruce Campbell. She did just didn't do it for me. Is an Amer he is a cinematic icon. And that's what he he pulled the he, he carried this movie. Okay, well you just gave it a 4 cuz of Bruce Campbell. Yeah. Without Bruce Campbell, what is this rating that you gave <laughs> it? It's a Jason. Probably one. Whoa, see <laughs> there you go. Bruce Campbell. There you go. All right, want to do a preview? Yes. <laughs> All right, so next on the uh, docket yeah. is Hashtag Xmas. Hashtag Xmas. Starring Claire Bowen and Brant Doherty. Or Dodger. I don't know how I spell. When interior designer Jen is selected for a social media competition for a design brand, <laughs> she poses as an influencer with her best friend playing her husband and her nephew as her baby. <laughs> what? What? So she's a fake influence. Hashtag Xmas. Hashtag, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So. I can't we'll wait. I can't wait for this one. <laughs> I didn't see a preview, a sneak pre peek for this one. 
Yeah, what did they do the sneak peek? They did the Royal Corgi Christmas sneak peek yeah. on this one. Oh, it's right. hashtag Christmas hashtag is the next one we're watching. Next one. So, all right. Peace.